Hello everyone, and today I'm going to make a showcase for you on... Showcase? What am I talking about? I'm going to make a tutorial for you on how to install the RTTG A Classic patch for FC25. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you it in Nexus. Got to keep that rolling so my headset doesn't shut off. So, we're just going to pull up Nexus here, as you can see. Classic patch for EAFC 25, and I'm just going to go ahead and download V11, which at the time of recording is the latest version. So we'll go ahead and press slow download, just doesn't really matter, it'll download quick enough. So what you're going to want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into File Explorer, and you're going to want to go to your EA Esports FC25 folder. I have it pinned, but you can find it under your Steam library, so I will show you that pathway now. Steam, and forgive me, I've not... Yep, Steam Apps, common, and you should see it here, and you will want to go from here into, I believe, x64, no, okay. Here, let me actually just go into this folder. So, app data, local, because that seems to be what works for me better. As you can see, this is the folder you should see when you get there, settings, and this is where you will put the squad file, right? So that's almost done downloading. And while that's downloading, I'll show you the other two new tools you're going to need. So you're going to need the live editor, which I have the launcher right here. I'll go ahead and open that now. There you go. And, of course, 3.5 is the latest version. I'm using 3.4 because, honestly, I kept you all waiting long enough for this tutorial. And let's go ahead and open FIFA Mod Manager now that that's done downloading. Just give that a couple minutes there. Well, shouldn't take a couple minutes, but... Again, it'll, it'll take its time. There we go. You're just going to select EA A Sports FC 25. Let that load. Now, as you can see, I go. I already have it on. Let's test V11. So it looks like I will need to put on the new version after all, just like the rest of you, which is perfect. So. I like organizing all my mod files, so we will just go ahead and do that now. Go ahead, put that into my mods folder. I'll just put it here for the sake of the tutorial. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and unzip the file. And we'll just go ahead and let that unzip there. And you're going to want to do two things. So, you're going to want to load this mod file. So, you can either do it by double clicking on the, on the mod file, or you can just go to import mods. Either way will work. latest version should have the Seattle Sounders logo, at least B11 that is. Again, this will change, but the more important thing you're going to want to do is copy the squad file, and we are going to go ahead and go back to our EAFC folder, settings, and you're going to want to just paste it in here. I'm going to have to well, I'll just show you the current squad file. 
but you're going to want to just paste it in there and then you're going to want to launch make sure you have auto launch live editor as an option since I already had it open of course you can see there and now we just wait for the mod to go ahead and apply in the meantime you're going to want to have this launch path on your FC25 properties I'm going to show you via Steam it should look like this right let's go ahead and close out of that and just let EA do its thing it's very rare that I say that it is an EA game after all and it's not a very good one but that's what we're here for and I'll show you a good few ways to make sure your mod is working as soon as you download it there we go there's the launch and some of the other games I need to start downloading I need to start playing for you all we will get to that I promise if you see this splash screen, you already know you've... Now, apologies, as I'm having to do this kind of in two parts, because... My app crashed on me when I was trying to screen record, but if you're doing something right, you'll see that Cristiano Ronaldo splash screen you'll see this live editor pop up I'll just use F9 to close that and we are just gonna go ahead and load the squad so it should be either RTTG classic patch backup or classic patch main it tends to switch out between the two which ones which one is in the zip file but they are both the same you should be able to see, in my case, my favorite team's Crystal Palace. You should be able to see players like Ian Wright in your game. So make sure you load the squad file. I'm just going to go ahead and save so you can see. Save and load. Right. Now, if you've done this correctly, you should be able to see Arsenal with their classic kits you should be able to see new teams such as let me go down to I believe the Dritze Liga if I remember what it's called in German correctly you should be able to see Offenbach you should be able to see where were they? Duisburg they were second division here, here you are you should be able to see Santos in the game now if I can remember where they're at there you go. Of course, I mentioned this in the bug report, but a lot of the Brazilian players' names will still look weird. I'm working on trying to replace them. It's going to take me some time. But I am working on that. But yeah, that's your tutorial on how to install the game. Well, install the mod, sorry. If you're looking for more content, please enjoy everything I have on my channel from commentaries, he's working for the UFL, or even just other game uploads. And as always, thank you for watching.